What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? We're with the Reformed Raider Party. Tell me, can we count on your vote in November? What? That? That's the Red Death? Think we can handle it? <laughs> we could always call in the Marines. Oh. Ha ha. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Actually, I'm here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. What would you say to a vintage set of encyclopedias? Act now. An encyclopedia? Uh, <sighs> ah, humor. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. If you're searching for a more ridiculous pair of sunglasses, don't bother. I doubt such a thing exists. Ready to saddle up and ride into the old wild west. Well, howdy thar, Sheriff. Looks like you got some pesky varmints here in the gulch that need straightening now. Nuclear material, you say? <laughs> what could go wrong? Death by squirt gun. Hey, I'd love to see the message on his tombstone. You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, Lady Overseer. Well, aren't you just precious? I, uh, thanks, I think. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself! Oh boy! John Caleb Bradburton? How exciting! I know! So, you're Gage's little pet project. <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? Sheriff! Your town is under threat from the Bloodworm Menace. But fear not, for I am the Silver Shroud! What can you tell me about your mother? Ah, oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed... she killed a mole rat once. Really? Ah, uh, that's remarkable. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Wow, well, wow, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Damn right. You should thank me. It's not every day I wander out to visit the peasants. I guess I could bring a little law and order to these parts, Sheriff. You got yourself a deputy. Dastardly villains taking root in the mine, you say? They shall face my terrible justice! Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. Mole rat kill counts really are the foundation of maternal affection. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. The pack? Oh, fitting. You smell like animals. This world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Hey, boss, can I ask you something? Didn't you just? Oh my god, maybe I ought to just shoot you instead. Hold on to your hat, one-eyed Ike. Cause I'm about to show you the fastest gun in the West. No target escapes the sights of the Silver Shroud. I'll win your contest, One-Eyed Ike. If you're gonna tell me you shoved a hand up his ass and turned him into a human puppet, I don't want to hear it. Shit, man. Vivid imagination you got there. Maybe Doctor Under Giant Metal Snake. The, uh, Giant Metal Snake. Of course. New friend funny. How not see giant metal snake? Oh yeah! Owen, Trixie, and Hank told me all about the California gold rush. Fun and educational. You finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Cause I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. Wait. What did you just say? Oh, what's wrong, dirtbag? Too hopped up on chems to understand English? Or just too stupid? Well, I think you heard me just fine. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We used the contest code to get in. What the hell happened to you? Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Um... Soda? I got three orders of drinks. I need you to 
deliver. The people of Dry Rock Gulch are about to meet the friendliest bartender in town. You have my word. A trivial errand for the Shroud. But no civilian is going thirsty on my watch. But if I can be the guy just behind the guy in charge, well, that suits me just fine. Gage, if you think I'm gonna let you get behind me and steer me anywhere, ho <laughs> ho. Rustle up some horses for you, huh, cowboy? Horses gone missing? The Silver Shroud shall ensure this is not part of some more diabolical plot. Ride like big snake. See to see from everywhere. Very big. Very snaky. How are you doing, Clem? Doing just the best. People keep talking about how good things are here. And I hope I've done my part, you know? You really are a glass is half full kind of guy, aren't you? Who? Me? Heck. I'd be happy just to have a glass. Would it kill them to at least prepare a resume? Heck, even a cover letter would do. I thought the whole point of having minions was to get them to do the dirty work. If you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Put a big dumb idiot in charge. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut. William. But then some folks are too aware of it, you know? They see the world for how fucked up it is. Shit, Gage. You need bandages for this bleeding heart of yours? In exchange for my weapon design, you would give me access to life-extending technology. Smart enough to invent Nuka-Cola, but you still fell for that? Yes, make your jokes. But I've still accomplished ten times more in a single lifetime than anyone I've met, including you. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. These feral ghouls are your friends. I'd love to see who you consider your enemy. Since we're talking about it, I'm assuming this story doesn't end with your death. Brilliant. No wonder you're in charge. <sighs> I knew this would be a pain in the ass. Sito, not doctor. Maybe find medicine for ass while help Sito? I cannot lie to you, noble bartender. Prospector Owen, Miss Trixie, and Handy Hank are all dead. Killed by some unknown assailant years ago. I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? I want to die. What? No! Come on, you're a disembodied head trapped in a vault. You've got so much to live for. Right! The giant roller coaster. I get it now. Roller. Coaster? New friends say strange words. The letters definitely spell refreshing. Oh, damn, I was sure the letters spelled fresh ginger. That stuff is great in hot tea with honey, lemon, a little brandy, a lot of brandy. Me being new and young, I didn't know enough to keep my mouth shut. Started making suggestions about how to improve things. <laughs> Oh, I could just picture it now. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Raider boss, but I have an idea. God damn it. Sometimes I swear this is like taking care of a bunch of children. No, oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Perfect for convincing any meddlesome settlers to rip each other apart. Oh, so it's like an instant play date. I like how you think, boss. But whatever this is, I'm on to you. Yes. Sorry about my associates. Yes. Humor. Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? Bag of animal bits. Well, this isn't the worst thing I've ever been given. Thank you, Mason. Oh, no, Shank. I died. I'm a ghost. Did you have fun in Mark Mulligan's mind? It was everything you promised, Sheriff. More fun than a bale full of hay. I thank you for your aid, Sheriff. Your town is safe for now. But the Silver Shroud will be watching over you. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Damn it! Nah, I already spent all my tokens on some magic beans. Very funny. Running with you now? Seems like it was all worth it. I feel like you should be laying on a couch while I take notes and then charge you a couple thousand caps for the session. If that's a joke, I don't get it. Why are you doing this stuff anyhow? You kidding? Building a vault, experimental prototypes, and guinea pigs, no offense. Who wouldn't do it? <laughs> 
I have no idea what you're saying, but you're funny. You've certainly earned your place here. Now don't go getting all mushy on me, Max. I'm not sure I can handle any tears. I'm so glad the traitors approve. I was hoping to win their popularity contest. Sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. A malfunction? What on earth makes you think that? But he actually listens to me. He takes my advice. And three weeks later, the two of you were married. Very funny. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. Careful. You keep patting yourself on the back like that and your arm's gonna break. It would seem that this was the life you were meant for. Dang! I was hoping I could be a pony. I'm taking my caps and retiring to a desert island. Try not to wreck the place. Thanks for error. System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung-sniffing dirt-scratcher!